let's take a look at the gunmen trouble cones. You can see them on here. Goes one through seven. And we'll just look at them real quick. So, number one is a system lockout. But basically, it says your furnace trying to start a couple of times, and it wasn't able to, so it shut down. Number two is a pressure switch stuck closed. So, one of these two switches is stuck closed. And you can exercise those. I have a video on how to do that. To try and get them to work. Or you need to replace it. Number three is pressure switch stuck open. Same thing. You have a, a switch that's stuck open. And if they're stuck open or closed, look for water lines. Make sure your drain is open. Make sure your uh, heat exchanger and full water. Number four is open high limit. That means this limit switch in here open up and shut the furnace down. Usually a uh, clog filter, dirty secondary heat exchanger, uh, return air block on the first floor, or second floor, or a pillow, or blanket over top of it, could trip your high limit. And that's right in the middle. Right here. Number five. Flame sense without gas mouth. Alright. I believe that is your flame sensed a flame, but the gas valve did not open. I believe that's what that is. I've never had that code, um, but that one, that's probably what I would look at. Flame sense without gas valve. I guess, I guess someone could heat that up and, uh, Kinda of try and think it out the end to come on. I, I guess something like that could happen. Number six, roll out switch. Two of them right here. Furnaces have these in different locations. Some on the bottom, some on the sides, top. Some have one, some have three, four. And they sense their flame rolling out of your furnace. Usually a mad heat exchanger or some kind of negative pressure pulling that flame out. Um, it also happens if you have a clogged uh, vent. If this vent is clogged, uh, I guess that could happen. These are resettable, but be very, very cautious with this. A lot of the times it means you have a mad heat exchanger. Low flame signal. Seven flashes. If you have a low flame signal, that's usually your flame sensor up in here. You usually get a, a, a burst of gas, and then the gas goes out, and then the flame sensor doesn't sense it, and your sensor usually needs clean. Um, steady on means the system's ready to go. If you have no light, and you have your switch pushed in, and this light does not come on, that means you have a bad computer motor. Or, there's usually a, a, a fuse in there. So, look for a fuse. This one's not in here. Kind of low. 
a point to it. It's right here. It's hard to see. But the three of you, it's like you see in your car. I'm sorry you can't see that. I apologize. Now if you look in here, the, it's right here, see that purple, purple 3 amp fuse, you find these wires, get them out of the way, but anyway, that's it right there. Alright, there it is right there. Check that fuse, and that light will come on. Alright? Now you see that little light, that red light? Steady on means it's ready to go, working good. No light, mad board, or mad fuse, or no power. And you, this light blinks continuously. Uh, it says you have your polarity reversed, which means your white and black were, are switched. Which I've never seen that, but that's what it says, that that's what that is. Okay, that's all your trouble codes, and basically where they're at and, uh, on the furnace. So that's all I have to add as far as the trouble cones you know. But always keep in mind, a trouble cone will point you in the right direction, but it doesn't always tell you what is mad. Sometimes you have to do a little bit more trouble shooting, and sometimes it points you right in the direction and pretty much fixes it for you. So as far as trouble cones go, you just kind of uh, know that it's a general point in the right direction kind of thing.